it's kind of crazy how I've never made a video on Spider-Man No Way Home. Like, Sony's not marketing it, and I'm here, like, not talking about it. So, hi, everyone. This is Tanner here. And today, the new Spider-Man trailer comes out, and, yeah, people are going to be reacting to it. It's probably going to look cool, and I wanted to do a video on this movie, but something a bit different. You know, this movie is just so crazy here. The fact that we have three different Spider-Man and the worlds colliding, and I'm going with that we will see Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire in this movie. I could be wrong, and well, there goes this video, but I wanted to do a video of five interactions I would love to see here. We have a lot of different worlds, so here are conversations I would like to see between characters, just things I think would be neat. The first one would be Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man and Tom Holland's Spider-Man talking about love and romance. I'm sure that Andrew and Tom, Spider-Man, are going to have a lot of funny dialogue with each other in the movie, but I think there's a really good message you could have here in this film. I see this happening where maybe it's a night scene. Maybe all the Spider-Men just have a long battle. Toby, Spider-Man taking care of something, and Andrew and Tom sit atop a building. Uh, they talk about love and romance. Maybe up until this moment, Andrew hasn't revealed that his girlfriend, Gwen Stacy, has died, and maybe he's kind of been making up she's still alive. But it could be an emotional moment where Andrew Garfield basically tells Tom Holland, like, hey, man, love is precious. And this could fit because Tom Holland's Spider-Man is, you know, just dating MJ, kind of starting out to. So I think this could be a really cool conversation, kind of about love and that whole theme of Spider-Man. Uh, Andrew Garfield's a really great actor, and he can pull off a really dramatic scene here. And I think it could be very touching. I want to have fun moments in this movie. Oh, we stayed there. There are funny moments, but I want to have these Spider-Men feel like living characters. I just don't want Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire to be saying a million memes or cool lines. I want there to be some emotional depth. I think you could have that here with this scene about love. I also think Andrew and Tom could have kind of this brother relationship, and this could be a very kind of touching scene with one another so that's kind of what i have for the first idea conversation i'd love to see the second one would be between electro um and sandman so electro from amazing spider-man 2 the sony picture verse and then sandman from the sam raimi spider verse spider-man 3 and i think this could be a cool conversation both villains are very outcasted by society sandman's trying to provide for his family but he's framed a villain and Electro is someone who was mistreated and he's just trying to people recognize him. Now, they're doing it in very extreme strengths where they must be stopped. But I think there could be a cool connection where, you know, maybe Sandman is kind of looking at a, a wallet thing or like a picture of his family. Electro's like, did you steal it? And Sandman's like, no, this is my family. They think I'm a monster, but I'm really doing it for them. And Electro could, could be kind of be like, yo, people hate us because they don't understand us. Something like that. I think this could be a really neat conversation that dives into the human elements. Also, it could be kind of meta where both people really do not like Spider-Man or Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3. So you could kind of have a meta joke there of people not liking us. But I don't know. I think you have a really cool scene. And Electro and Sandman just seem like the very different sides of the coin. Sandman's a very reflective and calm character where Electro is a bit more aggressive. And I feel like Jamie Foxx could have some really good dialogue there with uh, Sandman so that's what I have there at number two uh, at number three we do have another Spider-Man conversation I think that could be uh, kind of Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland talking about legacy I think one thing that people really love about Tobey Maguire Spider-Man he feels very much like classic Spider-Man he kind of is that Spider-Man that we know from the comics and I think that Tom could see Toby as almost this dude, like, who I want to be him. That's who my idol is. I think Tom Holland, Spider-Man, needs to get over the Tony Stark thing. But I think having him look up to Toby could be interesting. He could kind of almost analyze him as this person who is fantastic. And Toby could be like, hey, I went through a lot of stuff. I love the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies because they're very human. And I think there's a lot of really neat potential there for a very human conversation of Toby Spider-Man. Like, hey, I went through a lot of stuff. Life isn't easy. You're going to go through stuff too, but that's part of being the hero. That's why we put on the mask because we go through stuff, tough stuff so we can help others. Something like that nature. 
I think that Tobey Maguire's acting is definitely a bit more quieter than Tom Holland's. So I think him almost lecturing Tom could be a really cool way to see these two actors bounce off of each other. The number four interaction I'd love to see is another villain one. I would love to see Green Goblin, you know, Willem Dafoe's version, Alpha Molino, Doc Ock, really go at it. It never really hit me until like a couple weeks ago that these two um, have never met. You know, Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin died in Spider-Man 1, and then Doc Ock came on the scene in Spider-Man 2. They had really no connection. I think this could be a really cool setup. They're really marketing these two as the big bad guys, and I think there could be a neat conversation. They could find out that they both know Spider-Man is Peter, and they could come from in different ways. I feel like Doc Ock almost has a sense of regret that he's going to kill Peter Parker. You see, trust him, but he ultimately betrayed him. While Green, Green Goblin is feeding into that, you have Willem Dafoe really go in and be like, yeah, Peter was like a son to me, but he betrayed me. He was what I want Harry wanted to be. He's like, what I, he's like, you know, I wanted Harry to be like Peter, but Peter went against me. They both kind of fuel in the hate. One thing I love about the Spider-Man movies is that human connection with Peter and his bad guys. And I think you could really have um, a cool thing here with the Green Goblin and Doc Ock villain talking about how Peter mean what he means to them and how they kind of feel betrayed. So we've had some Spider-Man interactions. I've said we've had some villains. What about a villain talking to a Spider-Man? We're going to have Alpha Molina's Doc Ock Talking to Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, I think there's a really cool connection here. Andrew Garfield is very much the more sciencey Peter Parker. He loves his science stuff, and I feel like he can almost see Doc Ock as someone who he feels betrayed by. Andrew Garfield could really use his acting and be like, "Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to harm people?" And Doc Ock's like, "Well, this was my only option." Something like that. I think Doc Ock's a great villain because. You can see the human in him, but he's been taken over. And I think Andrew Garfield has been through a lot of stuff with kind of his villains have come through misunderstandings. So I think there could be a really emotional moment. You know, I'm excited to see Doc Ock, see Toby's Peter, and, you know, have them fight. And it seems like Doc Ock and Tom Holland's version of Spider Man, we do get out on this bridge. But I think Andrew Garfield's version of the character and Doc Ock could have a really neat conversation. Anyways, that does it for this video. These are just kind of have some ideas I had. Uh, I could have thrown in Daredevil. He may or may not appear. I don't know. But these are just some cool in-depth conversations I have in mind. And I want this movie to explore the Spider-Man character. This is such a unique thing we're doing. I just don't want this movie to be cool Easter egg, cool Easter egg, cool reference, cool funny line. Yeah, that's great. I'll probably be entertained and happy. But I want to have something where you can really dive into this world of Spider-Man. That's what I love about Spider-Verse. Yeah, there was those cool references, but there was some really neat connections in Spider-Verse. And I hope this movie does it. I hope you all enjoy watching the trailer. Uh, I'm not going to react to it. I might discuss my thoughts, things I love about it. And I might do more videos on Spider-Man No Way Home. Maybe set pieces I'd love to see, action scenes, kind of things I'd like to see. I don't want to go too much into speculation, but just kind of my basic thoughts here. Anyways, let me know what you all think. Until then, take care and bye-bye.